Off anytime soon. He's gonna have to forfeit. Oh, I've been up all night excited to kick his ass playing video games and smoking weed. Are you gonna be okay to wrestle? I'm good, man. I'm, I'm so tired. Let's get this up. Don't finish uh, moving uh, right before uh, we start our commentary. Uh, Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, once again for joining us. This is Slaughterhouse Wrestling. I'm Smarty Artie Banks, joined by Insane Dick Lane, getting ready for my match uh, up next against Spike. But right now, I decided to shoot some commentary with Smarty Artie over at the booth. Uh, thank you uh, for joining us tonight, Dick Lane. This Wednesday in Walpole, of course, a groundbreaking tournament in the Slaughterhouse as Steve Colby-led Section X hopes to make an impact like no other on the Slaughterhouse today, just like he made an impact on Paul's ribcage just now. And it's already not looking good for the Slaughterhouse. Fat Joe losing like a big fat jerk on his cheek to Indeed, the new Pope. kid, Jeff Allen, the Pope, uh, also somehow affiliated with the rival Section X affiliation. Uh, Joe did lose that match in the first match of the first round just earlier today. Here we go. We see Steve Colby doing some sort of strange style. You know, Steve Colby, uh, more naturalistic and less technical the prowess. Uh, you yourself, Dick Lane, have been noted on the internet several times as... Perhaps not being the biggest fan of this Steve Colby. Steve, I think Steve Colby's a jerk. He comes into the slaughterhouse and he thinks Man, that he can push us oh, around, mock our wrestlers, and push us around and tell us that he is the champion of the slaughterhouse. But you know what? He challenged him to this tournament, and we're going to show him that the slaughterhouse is number one in that section X. I'm not even sure I've ever heard of Section X referred to as any kind of wrestling affiliation before. Where's the Slaughterhouse Wrestling now? SHW.TalesFromTheWildSide.com proves to be one of the groundbreaking landslide victory backyard wrestling organizations on the internet today. Oh! Shoulder block to the gun, Paulie. Steve Colby. Gonna make him more of a gore rapper. I don't know what the deal is with Polly. He's been falling asleep, rolling around on the ground the whole match. He obviously didn't get any sleep. At the beginning of uh, today's <laughs> oof, today's events, he actually was claiming that he had stayed up all night preparing for this match, which is evidently not the best way to go about preparing for a match. <laughs> Devastating thunder knee Saint type Colby move. with the unorthodox style has Polly on the ground and begging for mercy. I mean, if he was awake enough to possibly realize the kind of danger he was in, I'm sure Paul would be begging for mercy right now. And ba oh, back-breaking, shoulder-claw-grabbing Steve Colby bringing Paul E to the ground. Paul E, uh, an additional former Slaughterhouse Wrestling Champion, something Steve Colby cannot say about himself. Oh, oh my God. 
with their chairs This down. is a disgrace to the slaughterhouse. I can't believe Paul is looking like this. Oh, getting crushed like a marshmallow inside of a s'more. Steve Colby now walking right across the back of Polly. All of that 160 pounds will, I don't know, I guess it'll hurt you. He kicks the chair up, as it's some sort of distraction and attacks Polly. In the meantime, unbeknownst to Polly, Steve Colby had that up his sleeve the whole time. Steve Colby obviously isn't trained to be a wrestler. Steve Colby obviously has never been in the slaughterhouse, and I don't think that he's gonna survive once Polly wakes up. <laughs> oh, well, right now you see Steve Colby using his uh, his unorthodox style to his advantage, getting the chop in the back of Polly's knee. Now with that single leg submission style hold. He's got, I, I think you may be underestimating Steve Colby, not just in the short run, but maybe in the long term of this tournament, Section X could prove to be a force to be reckoned with. You think Steve Colby scares Dick Lane? You think Steve Colby scares the slaughterhouse? Well, now, hold on. I don't know if he scares them. Angry Angry Allen is going to destroy the boy, and Dick Lane is going to break the spine. Colby's lackey spike. And then in the final round, the slaughterhouse will prove that Section X is nothing but a bunch of trash. Well, it's, we can all hope that you're correct. I mean, I, Smarty Art Banks, of course, am going to side with you guys, the slaughterhouse wrestling elite, as I call you, uh, when you're not around, when I'm talking to the Section X type guys. But uh, Johnny Easiestly signs everyone's paycheck that's working on the staff here today. And now we see Paul Lee getting back to his feet, looking to put in a little more offense of his own, keep that Steve Colby on the short pitch. Finally, some offensive from the slot. Uh, well, I'm sure that's another reference to the first round matchup where Joe lost to the new kid, Jeff. And uh, all I can say about that is, I mean, it's been a long time since Furious Joe has been in a matchup. Oh, though I guess you could say it's probably been longer for the new kid. Steve Colby's all over Paul with foreign objects, with kicks, and closed fists. And now you see he's going for that. He's got the two chair combo in his hands right now. And oh, clips him across the cranium of Polly. That's what you call an alliteration. And he drop kicks the chairs into his face to boot. Kenny, I think he might be looking for the pin here. He's going for the cover. Referee Tony. One, two. two count only is Paul. Paul's not going to get pinned by some lackadaisical pin like that. You can see Paul clearly punching him in the throat to get out of that pin. That's just pure reflex. He's, oh, jeez. Now he's just clubbing him across the back with those clubs. The train that seems to be affected by the symbiote. This is the most symbiote. unfortunate turn of events. Oh, this is greatly unfortunate for Polly as the train's vibration sonic waves cause massive Damn internal it. damage. Oh. And, and Steve Colby causing external damage again with that chair. What a dirty, deeded dude. Right when Paul is coming back. Steve Colby now, oh. Looking a little bit lost, and Paul e telling him exactly where he is in deep trouble here at Wednesday in Walpole One, in Slaughterhouse two, Wrestling. Two. Now he hit him in the nuts with that chair, and I would hit him a couple no. more times in the nuts. Because that's one way to keep anybody down, including Steve Colby. And a well known fact that Steve Colby is indeed not immune to shots to the testicles. And if I get Steve Colby in the match, you know what move Dick Lane is going to do to you. Well, I'm going to say that I know you're going to do the Dick DDT, but with what we're talking about now, you're probably talking about the Punching them. Who are you punching them in the nuts? Yeah, that move. Dick well, Lane. here we go. Polly with the offensive again. You see, he set up those two chairs in classic Polly fashion. And now he's... Oh, he drives through Colby right into the chairs. That, folks, is impact. 
That, folks, is hardcore backyard wrestling at its finest. Paul Lee getting back to his feet, although you can clearly see he's not going to be able to pin Steve Colby off the power of that move. It's really more of a softening, a fabric softening, throwing the dryer. Oh! Take that, Steve Colby's face. <laughs> Said the bottom of Paul's shoe as it came crashing down upon it. And now Paul's got that metal plate lid and upside the head of Steve Colby it goes. Here's what I've been looking to see this whole match. Steve Colby getting smashed in the face. And many Slaughterhouse Wrestling fans indeed have, after he showed up several months ago interrupting the angry round and talked to the champ promo with his fake belt and everything. And oh, but now it's Steve Colby again on his feet offending Paul with these moves. Hit him in the testicles with that discus. Oh, my. Steve Colby, tiger style, across the face of Paul. That could have knocked him out. I don't think there's anything left after that freaking punch to the face. Now he's got that swift kick to the back of Paul. It sends him reeling back to the ground. Steve Colby with more designs of this chair. Oh, as he's trying to... He's wedging it into the throat and neck of Paul Lee. This is causing a dangerous situation for the carotid artery. Anybody that knows anything about Steve Kobe and that's seen him in Tales from the Wild Side, they know that he's a villain, that he's going to have dirty tactics like this, hitting you in the lower regions, hitting you with foreign objects, choking you. It's true, perhaps that is the reason why the Sawhorse Wrestling fans just help Paul Lee overcome the momentum turn and cheering for him to get out of that move. This is this may be Colby's first match, but I could totally expect this type of move style from Colby. Not unlike when Darth Vader just starts choking people with his mere thoughts. You can, oh, now, never mind this reference. Paul Lee has got that chair inside the half crab, and this is devastating. This is easy. Wait, what's his name? Well, oh my Put god. Chair across here. Oh my god. Camo clutch with the chair. I've never even seen this freaking move done. If anybody in the history of the world has ever done this move before, I have not seen it either, and I've been a broadcast journalist these past umpteen years. Polly now just walking away. Steve Foley throws a errant punch towards the nuts but misses. And Paul Lee, I think, is ready to wrap things up. He's got the arm ringer on. After that last couple of moves, I think Steve Kobe's starting to wonder oh. if he was ready to step into the slaughterhouse. Perhaps doubting his decision, indeed, Steve Kobe might be, as Paul Lee inches another step towards victory, hitting him with the forward stroke down onto the chair. Just like I said at the beginning of the match, it just took Paul Lee a little bit to wake up, and now. I think I think Polly may be getting ready to go back to sleep now. Steve Colby basketball pass. Karate drop to the side of the neck. This kind of offense is completely unpredictable, and Paul Lee one, is the one who two, needed to be preparing for this one. Two, no. Like he claimed to have done all night, I might add. Steve Colby telling the referee Tony to count faster. Now what's what the hell is this? He's wrapping his belt around his fist. Look at this. Tony doesn't even see it, Tony not that it matters. It. Referee Paul, <laughs> referee Tony, Paul is on the ground, he doesn't see it. And now it's Steve Colby switching hands with this, with the devilish backhanded move of putting his own belt around his hand, his studded leather belt. Oh. And one shot across the eyes of Paul Lee, that could be it, folks. Belt one, buckle to the two, forehead. Three. Oh my God. Paul Lee's out. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Colby wins. Steve Colby wins, and a true sportsman and the like. Steve Colby Can't picks go. up the second victory today for Whoa, Section X. Today, Wednesday, in Walpole, the Slaughterhouse. This is ridiculous. Me and Angry Angry Allen are going to have to I'm take it up a notch if the Slaughterhouse is going to win. I can't believe what I'm saying. <laughs> and now, more Section X members down at the ring embarrassing Polly. It's true, a uh, day for Section X so far today, Wednesday in Walpole, but we... Uh, like Look at this bracket. It's devastating for sure. Please uh, stay with us and tune in for the next round of Wednesday in Walpole. It's Slaughterhouse Wrestling. Oh, shit.